What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, JB, and we are here with trending topic number two, Portia from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, girl, what the fuck is all I got to say is what in the entire fuck? All right, you guys, let's, if you guys are watching this video and you guys like any of my other content, before we jump into this clusterfuck of shit, hit that subscribe button so you guys, um, if you guys are not, if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, do me a solid favor and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell button so you guys are notified when I drop any other videos and also hit that like button. All right, you guys, so I'm going to catch my breath and we're going to go ahead and just talk about what occurred over the last 24 hours so to speak actually it's 48 hours but we gonna talk about it so let's get into it shall we all right you guys so this actually really all kind of started sunday i saw it actually i saw this stuff after i posted my real housewives of atlanta video because you guys know i don't when you guys know that mother's day is not the easiest day for me dealing with the fact that my mother passed away in 2017 and my grandmother passed away in 2013. So I was just in one of those bad moods. I wasn't in a, 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 a really like bad mood. I was just a little sad because I went and put flowers on my mother's grave and it was just like, damn, it's been four years since my mom passed away. And it was just like, damn, it's just been a long time. Since it's been so long since I saw her. So I was still dealing with that. So I came home, I watched Real Housewives of Atlanta, Merits and Medicine and Pose recorded those videos and posted them you guys for you guys so then i got on instagram and i and for some odd reason portia was the first person that i saw so i saw a picture of her with mother's day and then i looked at that picture i'm like wait a minute i was like wait a minute that's her and coach dennis in his picture but then i looked over to my so it was a picture where they were sitting down so it was portia in the middle and it was Dennis to her right, and I believe it was Simon to her left. I can't remember how, I think that's how it was. I know Simon was on this side of her. I think it was her left. So Simon was on this side, Dennis was on this side. And I was confused. I'm like, wait a minute, why is he there? This is Mother's Day. Why is he celebrating Mother's Day with her and Coach Dennis? and not Fallon. Now, now, see, I don't know if he and Fallon actually have kids together. Now, you guys can let me know in the comments about that if he and Fallon have kids. That part, I don't know. Like I, like I tell you guys all the time, when it comes to Real Housewives of Atlanta and Real Housewives of Potomac, after I post those reviews, I move on with my life, especially after last season with Potomac, how the comment section would get a little nasty. So I just distance myself from it. Like when the shows go off, I distance myself because I don't want to deal with that negativity that sometimes it brings. So I just distance myself so I don't watch, you know, the after show when they post those. I've st I stopped watching the after show. I don't watch the chat room on Bravo with Portia and Giselle. I sometimes watch Watch What Happens Live, but I don't watch that as much e either. I don't watch Candy Speak On. I know you guys tell me I should watch Speak On it. Because, it's, it, you know, it gives a little bit of backstory about what happened in the scenes that they cut out. I get that, you guys. I just don't know if I can do it for myself. <sighs> but suffice it to say, I noticed Simon with Porsche and Den Coach Dennis. And I'm just like, what the hell is going on here? So then it was one of those, you know, those where you can slide the pictures. So I noticed Portia, she had her hand right here on, you know, Simon. I didn't even know. Now, I didn't notice the ring at the time. I think it wasn't until yesterday that I actually noticed that ring when people started pointing out that she has a ring on her finger. I'm like, oh, is that the ring that Dennis gave her? I'm like, oh, so she and Coach Dennis got back together again? No, that's not the case. But I didn't think, again, I didn't think anything of it. I did think that. I'm like, well, why is she all up on Simon and not on Dennis? Like, I didn't get that. So I'm like, okay, maybe they were just laughing. They got caught in the moment. I don't know. Didn't think too much of it, but I know people were on social media, you know, speculating that, you know, something was going on between she and Simon. Didn't think, again, like I said, didn't think anything of it. Now, I did see on social media, I think it was the Peach Report, the Peach Report Daily. They did report that, you know, Fallon and Portia were no longer following each other on social media, which I don't under, I mean, <laughs> that is very high school to me. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. 
unfollowing somebody on fo on social media, y'all think that they're not friends anymore. I think that that is a little childish because, like I said in one, of my, I think I said in the video, like if I don't want to see your post, I'm just gonna unfollow you. That doesn't mean that I'm not friends with it. It just means that like, I don't want to see what you're posting. Like I have some friends who post negative shit, and I'm like, you know what? I don't deal with negativity, so I will just unfollow you or I will mute you. Like if it's on Twitter, I'll just mute you. But if it's on like anything else where I can't mute you. I'm just going to unfollow you. I'm going I'm to text you and be like, hey, I unfollowed you. You post a lot of stuff that I don't be wanting to see. Like, I have friends who post things, you know, like when it comes to police brutality. And I'm like, y'all, why do y'all post that so, much, so much about that? Like, I don't want to see that. And I'm like, I, I, you know, I got to unfollow you. Like, it's nothing. Again, I, I do it to family. I've done that to family members. I'm like, yeah, I can unfollow you. But it doesn't mean I don't, I don't love you. It just means that I just don't want to see the shit that you're talking about. So yeah, they had unfollowed each other, and then later last night, <laughs> God, oh my God! So later last night, Portia confirmed that she and um, Simon are in fact together, and then you know not now, and then this morning when I woke up, I was like, oh shit, we don't went a little further. So I'm going to read to you guys Portia's post on Instagram first. So her post says, our relationship began a month ago. Yes, we are crazy in love. I know it's fast, but we are living life each day to its fullest. I choose happiness every morning and every night, tuning out all negative energy and only focus on positive wishes. He makes me so happy and to me, that is what matters most. For all of you that need facts, I get the optics, but Simon filed for divorce from her previous marriage in January. I had nothing to do with their divorce filing. That's between the two of them. Fallon and I are not friends, and Simon's divorce has been settled. Our relationship is a positive, loving step forward in everybody's lives. Simon and Dennis are committed to being respectful and supportive of my happiness in this situation as well as being the best co-parents they can be to baby PJ. Two black men stepping up and being amazing people. Let's praise them. It's truly a beautiful moment in my life and we cannot wait to spend the rest of our lives together. XOXOP. Hashtag love wins. That was 13 hours ago. Child, I, I just, uh, <laughs> Excuse me, I didn't mean to cough in your face. <laughs> that reminds me of Jocelyn that clipped that song online. So yeah, um she says that she and Fallon are not friends. <sighs> Girl, that's just fucked up. Like I posted on I posted on Twitter, I mean not Twitter, on Instagram last night. Like I can defend a lot of things, but this right here is just one of those things of which I cannot defend. Like I can't defend this. Like I've defended Portia all season about if she's had sex with we don't say she had sex with Bolo. Actually, we're gonna say she had sex with Tanya. That's what we're really gonna say. But I mean, even with that whole situation, stripper gate, I defended her. Like I don't think it was her, you know, her business to tell anybody who she had sex with or who she didn't have sex with. And I still stand with that. You guys can disagree with me. That is fine. We are all here. We have our difference of opinions, but we can also agree to disagree and be respectful as well. But with this situation with Fallon and Simon and Portia and even Dennis, I cannot defend it. It's trifling as fuck. Now she says that she's not friends, again, she says she's not friends with Fallon. But the problem that I have with that situation is on the show, we all know that they do this all the time when it comes to housewives and when they introduce someone to the cast, they'll introduce them as so-and-so's friend. They might not necessarily be their friend. They just might be somebody that they knew through passing, which I think when it comes to Fallon and Portia, I think that they really knew each other because of Dennis and Simon's relationship with one another. But even still, you were in that woman's house. You were in her pool, eating her food, and smoking her hookah. How do you justify it? Like, you were in her house. She invited you to her house, and then you come out with her man fucked up like I said again I'm not defending Portia you guys know I love Portia but this one just puts a little bit of a blemish on Portia for me and it just makes me 
side eye the fuck out of Portia. Like it really, really makes me side eye her because I'm like, how can I mean, I, that's just something which I don't think I would. I know I wouldn't do. Now, yeah, I wouldn't do that. I've never done that. Now I've messed with her enemies, ex. That was to get you know that was just for fun, and that's when I was a teenager. So I've done this. I've done stuff like that in my teenage years, but at thirty. One years old, I would not do that. That's not for me, because I believe in karma, and I believe karma's gonna come back and bite Portia and then and um, Simon in the ass, and then Simon, like you cool, you are friends with Dennis, and I believe you guys are business partners. Why would you sully your working relationship with your homie to get with his ex fiance, Tacky? I just don't get it. I really don't get it. It's a bad look on both of their part, but I mean, if they happy, I'm not going to, you know, if they happy, they happy. It ain't got nothing to do with me, but it's just not something that I would personally do. And I want to read to you guys Simon's post that he posted. Let's see if I can get to it. So Simon, he posted, I'd like to seize this opportunity to thank every well-wisher of Portia and I, whether via phone, text, or DM. You affirm my belief that finding love is possible for everyone who genuinely seeks one. Getting married again was never a question in my mind. But when? He should have said getting married was never a question in my mind, but when was the question? But whatever, that's neither here nor there. Did not expect to be blessed with a mate so soon. How y'all so, uh, how are y'all, I'm gonna finish reading this and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my thought. Did not expect to, actually we're gonna start over because I've paused so many times. All right, he, Simon says, I'd like to seize this opportunity to thank every well-wisher of Portia and I, whether via phone, text, or DM. You affirm my belief that finding love is possible for everyone who genuinely seeks one. Getting married again was never a question in my mind, but when? Did not expect to be blessed with a mate so soon. The interesting thing about life is that it is an individual journey. Portia and I, with the support of our loved ones, have chosen to travel together as one and spread love and positivity to our community, which is in desperate need of positive and healthy images of the best versions of ourselves. Okay. We travel this road not lightly considering we have been in relationships that have thought that we, what do you say? We travel this road not lightly considering we have been, we have yeah, he, he's, he's, that's a typo. We travel this road not lightly considering we have both been, he's put being, B-E-I-N-G, that's not the correct word, brother. We have, okay, so I'm gonna read it again. We travel this road not lightly consider we have both been in relationships that have t thought, thought? He, okay. I didn't realize he had so many typos. Once again, we're gonna reread re re this. We travel this road not lightly considering we have both been in relationships that have, that have taught us, that's what he meant, not T-H-O-G-H-T, taught us, we have uh, taught us, we taught us to want and do better for ourselves. I asked her to marry me because we checked all of each other's boxes and then some. We have done the individual work to sustain a healthy relationship and I stand next to her, proud that we found each other. What we have is what we wish every single one of you out there is what we wish for every single one of you out there. Happiness. So when I asked, she said yes. That is all in capital. He put that in all caps. That is all that mattered. Thank you again for your love and support. Truly appreciate it. Hashtag love wins. Okay. Is it raining outside? I don't know. I think I might be hearing the air. Um, yeah side eye for both of them and the question that i have for, for this is portia and him say that they've been together for a month y'all don't think y'all moving a little bit too fast for a month and y'all are already engaged to each other <coughs> excuse me y'all i will say her ring is nice but it's just not a good look on it's just not a good look and the fact that portia says that dennis and him are working together to be you know for her and pj Bullshit. If I was Coach Dennis, I would be beating Simon's ass every fucking time I see that nigga. Like, it would be on sight. Like, nigga, square up. Like, square up. How you gonna go and hook up 
with my ex fiance, the mother of my child. Like nigga, you gonna have to catch these. You gonna catch a fade every time I see you. Like it's on sight every fucking time I would see Simon. I'm just gonna hit that nigga, pop. Just punch him, punch him dead in his face. Just pop. Just pop. You ready? He get out the car. Pop. I'm just gonna hit him every time he get out the car. Like it's on sight. Like I just don't understand. We would dis if we have businesses together, dissolving them, dissolving. They don't exist anymore. Our friendship non-existent. Don't have my child around this man. I don't care if you marry him. My child is to never be around him. Like it's just ugh, ugh, ugh. Child, I wonder. Oh God, is Portia chasing a bag? <laughs> is she chasing a bag with this one? Here's one thing that I've noted, I've been seeing on social media all day since I woke up and last night too. People keep calling Portia a hoe. Can y'all explain to me what makes this girl a hoe? We don't know how many people she's been with since she's divorced Cordell. We only know what we see on television. And what we saw on television, she's been with that old, you know, Coach Dennis. That boy that she did the baby nup with, which I thought that was dumb as fuck. What was his name? Todd. And has she been with somebody else? I think it's one other guy that I can't think of. I think it's one other guy. I'm not positive. You guys can let me know in the conversation. But I just want to know what makes her a hoe. I, I don't agree with at that part. I don't agree with. And I see a lot of women calling her a hoe. And it's just like, damn. When, you know, I realize women attack women a lot. I'm like, wow. You might not like a person, you might not agree with what they say or think, say, do, and, and you know, things that they do, but do you have to go that low and call them out of their names? Like, I don't agree with that. Like, y'all don't like it when a man calls you a hoe. Why is it, why, why don't y'all have that same respect for each other? But I'm, I'm getting out of that one and moving on. But yeah, I just don't, it's not a good look. Do y'all think that Simon and um, Portia were making down the aisle? You know, at first I was thinking maybe she was trolling because I saw her on Dish Nation and Gary with the T them mentioned it. And I'm like, okay, maybe Portia is just trolling. Like, that's what I thought at first. I'm like, maybe Portia is just trolling y'all like it ain't shit. But now I don't know what to think. I know it's confusing as hell. It's very confusing. Like, super duper confusing. Like, I just don't understand it. Like, how is Dennis cool with this? How is Dennis cool with this? Again, like I said, if I was Dennis, I would be beating Simon up every time I see him. Simon would catch these hands. Simon would have to stay on ready. Simon would have to stay on ready. Simon would have to have some brass knuckles on his on at that point. Because every time that I would see Simon, I'm just gonna knock his ass out. I'm just gonna lay him on the ground. Like it ain't it is it's it is what it is. Like I would knock him down old i don't give a i don't care how old he is he could be in his 60s he could be in his 70s i'm sorry you might have to have a heart attack i'm just putting it out there but i'm gonna beat the hell out of you every time i lay eyes on your ass i'm gonna beat you up so i don't even feel no, if if found i want to get her home girls and pull up on porsche i i ain't gonna feel no type of way about it <laughs> it really really porsche of all the men in atlanta and Shamia, I mean, if you want to say you want to get an African with money, don't you, don't, I mean, Shamia is married to an African man. I'm pretty sure Gerald could have hooked you up with, you know, some of his friends. <sighs> Not a good look. I know, well, they just set up a story, they set up two storylines for next season, Portia and Kenny, because Kenny can talk about this all season. And if, if Kenya talks about this next season, I am not going to even feel any type of way about Kenyon talking about it. And I mean that from, I mean that seriously. I'm not going to be like, you know, I'm a, I'm not going to feel no types of way about Kenya mentioning it. Now, I do know that Kenya did post, you know, the Nicki Minaj meme, did she lie? And I was confused about that. What did you, what didn't you lie about? You never said anything about Simon and Portia. You were talking about Portia and Bolo. But, you know, touche. <laughs> This is gonna be a field day next season. Oh God! And they are not even—they haven't even started filming yet. They don't start filming until—I don't believe Atlanta is scheduled to start filming until June or July, because they film in the summer. They always film around my birthday, which is in July. 
So they always usually film around my birthday. So, ooh, they gonna be filming in the next. Well, if Bravo is smart, I know one season they did get the cameras rolling back in May. I think it was actually last season that they started filming back in May, toward the end of May, early June. <sighs> All right, you guys. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section below, and we will definitely discuss it. But like I said, it's just not a good look for Portia. I know her stand group is going to defend her. You guys, I'm not a stand, so I'm not defending her. I am not a stand. I'm a fan of hers, but it just makes me look at her differently, and it just makes me kind of question her in general. Ugh. Ugh. Not a good look, girl. Not a good look. You guys see, I can call people out. Because I know, because I saw a comment when I woke up this morning, like, why are people not speaking on it? I'm sorry. When you posted that comment, love, I was asleep. So I'm speaking on it now. Woo! Porsche, 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 Porsche. All right, you guys. Um, You guys be, be good, be safe, take care of yourselves, wash your hands, wear your mask, and socially distance, you guys. And I will see you guys later tonight for... The mid-season finale, I was only planning to do the mid-season finale of The Oval tonight and The Real Housewives of New York. I was not expecting to talk about Portia freaking Williams. But um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Did I tell you guys to subscribe to the channel? If I didn't, subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell button so you guys are aware when I drop anything else. And I will catch you guys later. Bye, guys.